up bros, what's happening, what's going on? Welcome back to another video in our never ending quest. How to pack up my stuff as fast as possible to get my ass home. Series of videos back in October, I made a video on customizing my trusses, which is this one right here. And I didn't show you guys, but over the course of a couple of months, I've actually gone ahead and implemented a ton of other features that I haven't shown you guys. And today, we're going to customize a second set. And this one is going to prove to be the best version because we are going to implement wireless DMX in order to get rid of some of these cables right here. But first, let me show you what we got going on. So first and foremost, this is a Global Trust America totem. It's a two meter totem, about six and a half feet. This is what we use to hold our moving heads. Now there's a ton of different things that we've implemented to make our setup process simple, quick, and easy. The last time the big change that we did is we added power. So we took this ADJ power bar that actually connects via PowerCon and we strapped it on with one of these guys. This is a clamp but it's also a clamp that's not going to damage our scrim right here. We ran our cables all the way up. We zip tied everything to make it look nice and clean. And up here we have our ADJ 5P Hex. We originally didn't have a 5P Hex in here. We had an ADJ Mega Hex. However, it didn't work out because that part is essentially the same as this, but the housing was plastic. So in transport, it completely shattered. So do not use a plastic light if you want to transport your light inside of your totem. Make sure that you get something metal like the 5P hex, which is what we have in here. And this is being held at the top of our totem as opposed to the bottom. Traditionally, your totem light goes on the bottom and then it shoots up. This is a little bit different. It shoots down as opposed to up. Now, the reason why I put this up at the top is because I also never take off the top plate. This helps protect our light from getting damaged. And if you're wondering how this light is being held, it's actually being held by the these little mini clamps right here. These are Global Trust America clamps. Now, usually clamps, they clamp on here. However, these are mini, so they clamp up on top there. I had no idea these existed until a couple of weeks ago, and it really just changed everything. Of course, when you're putting lights up high, you wanna make sure that they are safe. So we also have these harnesses this side and harness on this side. We also implemented labels, so I know where the clamps for the TVs are gonna go. The clamp will clamp on right here, and that'll hold our TV. On the bottom, we have our power con cable. Being held by our little cable clamps that I bought on Amazon and they're being held together by these little metal uh, ties here. Last and final thing is our totem is labeled. So you see their right side. The other one is a left side totem. So this is a right side totem, meaning that this is a male DMX. So usually this will be on the right hand side. You'll have my facade lights and I'll come out of my facade lights into here. However, with the new implementation of wireless DMX, it's not gonna matter whether it's left or right, which is something I I am really, really looking forward to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a PAR that's actually wirelessly DMX controlled and we're gonna send signal to it using our Airstream DMX via Wi-Fi and then we're gonna go out of that PAR into our moving head. So we're only gonna need a short DMX cable, which right now we currently need two. So you guys see right here, signal into light and then out of light. With the new way we're gonna do it, we're only going to need one, which is going to be signal to light. Everything else we're gonna get rid of. So our truss is officially unboxed. The uh, best way I can describe truss is more or less Legos for big kids. Whenever you buy truss, you're gonna get this. Um, if you're not flying these like overhead, most of the time you're not gonna need this because you don't need to link truss together. However, I will be needing our pins for our top and base plate. So now let's talk about the star of this video. The thing that's gonna make these totems wireless. I gotta send a huge shout out to my friends over at Canal Sound Light in New York City, Canal Street, New York City, uh, for hooking me up with a great deal on the Wi-Fi EXR 
apart. This is essentially a 5P hex, similarly to what we have inside of here. However, this has built-in Wi-Fi technology. If you guys aren't familiar with Wi-Fi, it is a DJ's wireless DMX technology. And this has it built in. Not only that, the Wi-Fi built into this light is EXR, meaning it's extended range, meaning that this thing gets signal from really, 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 really far away. So I can have totems on my side and across the dance floor on the other side. This is a game changer. Hit up my friends at Canal Sound and Light and they'll hook you up with a great deal. By the way, they're not paying me to say this. They've always just been really, really nice to me. You're also going to need two of these ADJ Power Bar links. You're also going to need zip ties. These are heavy duty zip ties from Amazon. And you're also going to need some of these bad boys. These are clamps, but they're not your ordinary clamps because they use a latch as opposed to a screw like this. Normally clamps are like this. This one has this. I'll link them down below as well. We're gonna take our power bar link. We're gonna attach our clamp on the back of the power bar link, and then we're gonna run power up. And cool thing about these is that they have a, uh, a mount right here so that you can attach your clamp right here without having to do any rigging, any drilling, or anything like that. Simple enough. All right, power attached. So up next, we have to apply our baby clamp. You guys can see they're little baby, baby, baby clamps. So you get a frost filter. Oh, this is a beefy, beefy light. Woo! Check it out. This is the light right here. This is a big boy light, not for the faint of heart. It is made out of metal. As you guys can see, this has a little stick sticking out of it right here. This is actually the antenna. On the sides here, you have your power in, DMX in, and on the other side, you have DMX in and out as well. This is also a battery powered light. Um, so you guys see that it's got a load on and off switch right here. Uh, we're actually not going to be needing that because we're going to always have this thing plugged in. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna apply these baby clamps. Um, quick thing, uh, I had to jerry-rig the little clamp and grab a bigger bolt here for the bottom just because this one doesn't reach all the way through. This is a bigger light than the 5P hexes. So I went out to the hardware store and I got the same bolt, same bolt, but uh, a longer version of it. Slide this through. As you can see, it fits just the same. We'll put this in here. Cool, now that we've uh, mounted our lights, this is what they look like, and as you can see, it's actually a lot sturdier than the other one. Next up, we have to start some wiring. Um, because these are battery-powered lights, we technically don't need to fully wire them. However, because they're gonna live inside of the totems, they're gonna have to be charged inside of the totem. So we're just gonna throw a power cable just to hang inside of there when we need to power these bad boys. The other only wire that we're gonna need to run is a power con cable for our Focus Spot 3 that are gonna sit on top and a DMX, very short DMX coming out from here into our focus spot. Harnesses. I recommend you guys pick up one of these baby hammers. It comes in real handy for pins. Right, and we've completed everything so let me show you guys around show you what's going on so of course we have the harnesses right here also went out and purchased uh, an L I E C a right sided or left sided IEC and now it doesn't protrude out it comes out and to the side and then as you guys can see we come down through here across and into the power additionally we have our power con which comes from the top 
down into our power brick. And this right here is our very short DMX cable. I let it hang about a foot. You also don't want to have this super tight where it's tugging. So uh, I like a bit of slack. I got about a foot of slack, which is more than enough because all it does is it comes up like so. And like I mentioned, because this is Wi Fly, we are only coming out of here. This has the option of five pin or three pin. So you can really get crazy with the DMX if you want. I also zip tied this to make it nice and clean. Down here on the bottom, we do have another one of these cable ties which holds our power power con cable out right here if you don't want to keep it inside you can also unclip these but um, I just like keeping it inside try to make things as easy as possible and it's being held together by these little uh, metal uh, string tie thingamajigs I'll list everything down in the comments below the only thing I have to do is do a bit of labeling just so when I use TVs I know what level they need to go on aside from that everything is done <laughs> So we're just testing out everything, making sure everything is working. Uh, here's a little pro tip. When you go to every venue, make sure that you take pictures of your setup because bride and groom get a hard on when they find out that you've been there for some reason. So I take my trusty Airstream DMX here and uh, I'm gonna cycle through colors and Christian is gonna take a picture of every color as I cycle them. So we're gonna start with red, we got green, we got blue, we got white, we got amber, UV. We also have one that's a little bit more upbeat it changes color, so this is like early in the night. Then once we start getting late in the night, we have this, uh, we call this one hype. This is pretty much our go-to. It just kind of swipes the room with different colors a lot faster. And then when it's really like popping, you know, it's crazy. We have like the flashing, flashing change of colors. And we can also do that in just white. So we can do just like the white stroke. And those are pretty much the ones that we cycle through. Um, we just hit them whenever we need them. We have the red, the green, pretty much that's all we do. Oh, and we also of course have a blackout, so we have a strobe. I can hit blackout and everything stops. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to ask me down in those comments below. I'll be sure to respond to you guys. One more time, guys, I wanna send a huge shout out to my friends over at Canal Sound and Light. Like this video if you like this, subscribe if you're new around here, and if you really wanna help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another tips and tricks video. Until then, my name is EJ Barr. Stay awesome, bros. Peace.